I'm gonna be honest. I do not want to be doing electrical right now. What I really want to be doing is burning this stuff over there on that laser, but we got to do it, got to get it done. We're so close to having it done, doing our electrical rough in before we can get inspected. And we already got all of our home runs done. And now we're down to just the last few things. So what we're going to be working on right now is light switches and lighting in the shed. Unfortunately for us, we have a lot of three-way and four-way switches. Those are switches like if you have a hallway that has two different switches to control one light. We have a lot of those planned out, so we've been thinking a lot about that. Let's take a few minutes into looking at how a three-way switch works, and then we'll start putting them in. So up until now, we've run wire all like this. This one's called 14-2, but we've also done 12-2, the yellow one. But it's just three wires. It's a hot, a ground, and a neutral. But today we're gonna to be running wire like this, and this one's called 14-3. And this one is a hot, ground, and neutral, and then this extra red wire. And we're gonna be using that extra red wire for our three-way switches. But first, I just wanna give a small demonstration of a regular light switch. So on a regular light switch, you have one main input and output, and so one side would go to the power, and the other side will go to the light and this switch will just break that connection. So I can show this on a multimeter. So if it's on, it connects them, and if, it, if it's off, it breaks them. Just two terminals. And so if we wanna have multiple light switches for one light, we'll use a switch like this, which is called a three-way. And the difference is it has an extra output. Instead of breaking this connection, it switches between connecting these two and connecting these two. And so that's what the extra wire is for. So we already have the wire run that goes into the first switch, but we need to run the wire that'll go from switch to switch. And that'll be this 14-3 wire. And these switches will just be in series with each other. So we'll have a black on one side and a red on the other side. And I have this small demonstration down here to show something like it would look like. So right here we have power coming in on one side and we have two three-way switches. And then in between the two switches, we have the 14-3 wire. And so these two are just wired together. We have a red going to one side and the black going on the other side. And then on the output over here, that goes to the light. And now with it configured like this, no matter which switch we do, it'll always turn it, it'll always toggle the light. We would call this an exclusive OR in computer engineering. And so if we wanted to add in a third switch, there's a different kind of switch we'd use. We don't have one right now, but the main difference would be it would have an extra input. And so in one configuration, the sides would be connected. And then when you switch it, it would connect them diagonally. And that would go in, in between these. We're gonna be running a combination um, so we're going to have some lights to have two switches and some lights to have three. Today we just need to start running that 14-3 wire between all those switch boxes. So this is our front door. Um, it doesn't look like a door yet because we haven't cut it out. We're going to have some switches right when we walk in. We'll have three different switches and one of them will be to turn on the living room lights. One will be to turn on the kitchen lights and one of them will be to toggle the porch lights outside. And then over here in the stairs, we have another three gang box. We'll be able to control the living room again, the kitchen, and then a light that we'll have somewhere in the stairs. And we'll walk upstairs. All right, so now we're upstairs and we got to put down our secret trap door. So this is just a prototype, but eventually we're going to have a trap door that comes down and then right here we're going to have a door to go to a raised deck outside. And we're going to have another light switch right here, three different switches. One will control a porch light outside, one's going to control the stair lights, and then one will control the room lights. Then right here, we'll have another living room light and then a workshop light. Let's go to the workshop. And so for the final one for our workshop, we got the big four gang 
Um, we'll do one that is for the workshop lights, one for the front porch lights. One, we want a huge floodlight outside, and we're gonna have it right here. And then we'll have one that, it could be anything, it's kind of a bonus. We're just gonna put it there just in case we have something we wanna add later, like Halloween lights or Christmas lights or something like that. So extra, and that should be it for our switch boxes. All right, let's put in this box. Got the palm nailer. Work smarter, not harder. We just got three boxes in for upstairs. We have one on the desk. We have one main room light, and then we got one over there above the stairs. We'll probably end up making some changes. These are kind of temporary because we're also doing solar, so we're gonna have some lower voltage DC stuff. So this is mainly for inspection, but we still wanna explore our options with all of our lighting. But this should be it for upstairs. Oh, that one went right into that knot. <laughs> Don't attempt this at home. There we go, that was the last one. Let's move on to some wiring. So at the very end there, the bottom is kind of wedged up against the stud. Okay. So. There's wires everywhere, so I can hop. Can you unplug this? Wire temporarily. over this wire, loop it over it, probably enough right there. But you can't hit the second hole like that, dude. Boom, boom. All right, so it started to get a little bit dark on us, but upstairs we got our desk light done. We have the main room light, and then we have a hallway light up here, and we got the switch wired, and we got a switch for the desk light. 
hidden in the closet over here. But yeah, we're done with upstairs and we also did some stuff downstairs. All right, and so this one we got stairs, our living room, and the kitchen. The living room light is gonna have three different switches. That's the first one. This is the second one. We started running some three-way and we just ran out of three-way, so we're gonna need to get a little bit more to finish this, but we'll have one more over here by the door so you can turn it on when you come in. And so that's pretty much it. The final thing we'll have to do after we run that one wire is finish the workshop. And so that's just two more lights. So we're almost there. And after that, we'll be able to get our inspection. So we're probably gonna finish that up tomorrow. And then hopefully next week we can get our inspection uh, scheduled. All right, well, that's gonna be a wrap. Thank you to everyone who subscribed and everyone who supports us on Patreon. And I'll see you guys in the next video.